Well, hello everybody. Come on in. This is Boss Beauty 101. And today I am going to review a product for you that I saw actually on YouTube. So a lot of us are having problems with bags under the eye and puffiness. And of course, as you get older, it gets worse. Okay, like with me. So I am proud to say that I am 66 and a half years old, will be 67 in about three months. So, um, you know what that means, I'm hitting 70 <laughs> real quick. But anyway, I saw on YouTube this product, and it's called uh, No More Baggage by Dr. Brandt. And maybe you've seen it too. And uh, I saw some good reviews, and I saw one that was a little negative, but I thought I would try it for myself. And I am here to say that I am pleased with the product. Now, um, it comes in a little tube like this, and as you can see, I have just about squares all of what was in there out. So I do use it because it works. So today, I'm going to show you what it does for me. And I'm going to show you some of the flaws uh, that I have in my eye area. Okay, so I have a little makeup on, but I did not put any makeup around my eyes. So if you notice, I have some um, bags under here. But I have a fatty bulge right here on the corner of my eye. And um, this one is not as bad. But we're going to talk a little bit about why we get these bags and what can cause these bags. So, in looking at a medical report, we find that a high salt diet can cause us to retain water and swell. So, we do this around the eye area. Um, if you have allergies or congestion, it can cause um, under eye puffiness. If you have a thyroid problem, uh, your eyes can be swollen. Uh, and if it is genetics, uh, it can cause this uh, puffiness because it runs in your family. Now mine, these puffy bulges on the edge that I show you are genetics. They're hereditary because I remember my grandfather had those. Okay? <laughs> All right. And the last thing is just a natural aging process. As we get older, those muscles around the eye lose their elasticity, and so we have more puffiness. So what we're going to do today is uh, try this eye cream. Now, the instructions suggest that you put uh, your eye cream around your eyes before you apply this product. And I'm going to tell you why. Um, this product, as it uh, reduces the puffiness, it dries. And so as it dries, of course, it's drying out this area under your eye. Now, even though I am as old as I am, I'm going to get up close and show you. I do not have any wrinkles or fine lines around my eyes. And it's because I do use an eye cream on a regular basis. Um, I also have a hooded eye. As you can see, I have extra skin that hangs down over my eye. So that can be a challenge when putting on eyeshadow, but we'll talk about that a little later. So let's go ahead and use the product. I've already put my eye cream on, and I will put a link below as to what I used. And so we're going to go ahead and try this product. So as it squeezes out, you can see it's a little kind of brownish orangey product. And they suggest you rub it between your fingers to warm it up. I rarely do that because I'm in such a hurry. And uh, I just pat it on. So we're going to put a pretty good amount on under here. And if you need to put more, they suggest that you put it on 
and let it dry between applications okay but I'm gonna put enough on here so you can see that it works okay and then after we're done um, we can apply more or if you choose to purchase the product if it's not it says it takes about five minutes okay so look at look at my eye and then we're gonna look again after five minutes okay so this is an eye depuffing gel uh, it says it visibly reduces the look of under eye bags and dark circles um, it's about 555 right now and so I'm sorry <laughs> oh we need to do uh, let me just set the time on here it would be about four minutes now since it's <clears throat> I've been on here and been talking and as soon as it goes off, we will take this off. We will look at these eyes. Okay. All right. So, um, as I mentioned earlier, the importance of an eye cream. Ladies, don't be lax in using an eye cream. Whatever brand you decide to purchase, use an eye cream. Because it will help with the... Um, skin elasticity around the eye now and it will prevent the wrinkling uh, and the fine lines sometimes you see people uh, older have four and five lines on the side of their eyes and as I mentioned even though I am my age I do not have that because I consistently use an eye cream um, and so this product claims to prevent you from having to get Botox and because it says needles no more and as you can see on the back of this box this writing is so tiny that even with my glasses I can barely see it but I'm just gonna use my magnifying glass which I use a lot because most beauty products the product is so small the writing has to be small in order to fit on the box so I'm gonna use my magnifying glass and I'm just going to tell you a little bit about what the instructions say. So, it says, Dr. Brandt recommends after your eye moisturizer, which I did, warm a tiny amount between your fingers and gently pat directly on the bags and dark circles. You can use it alone or under makeup. For best results, let it dry in between applications. Reapply as needed. Now, there is a caution. This is for external use only. Keep it out of the reach of children and avoid contact with the actual eye. If excessive irritation develops, discontinue use and consult your physician. Now, I will say that when you put this product on, you will feel it working. So if you feel a little, um, it's not a stain, it's, I guess it's a drawing sensation under the eye, it is working. Um, and we've only got two minutes and 40 seconds left, but let's look at it so far. Let's look and see what it's doing so far. Look at that. You can see the difference in, in my eye already in 2 minutes and 40 seconds. So <clears throat> we're going to look at it again when it gets to those 5 minutes that it told us that it will actually work in 5 minutes. But as we can see in my case, it is working already. Okay, so while we're waiting on our 2 minutes and 40 seconds to pass, we're going to talk about this gorgeous jewelry. Look at this. Look at that. Is it beautiful or what? 
and I'm going to show you the necklace because I'm going to pull it up. You can't see it because I'm sitting. Now, this is all paparazzi jewelry. It is $5 jewelry. Now, I have a necklace like this. A friend gave it to me, but it is on a leather chain rather than a silver chain. And it has maybe a little bit more black around this part. And it came from Saks. So, this looks just like it. <laughs> this entire ball. And it cost $5. Uh, the earrings were uh, upstage earring. Uh, because, you know, uh, paparazzi makes their jewelry in sets. So, they always come with a complimentary earring. But if you want to upsize the earring to larger, then, of course, the earring is $5. And check out this bracelet. Tell me that's not the bomb. Five dollars. So you have to be particular when you choose. And I will say, I am a person that never bought, not never, rarely bought inexpensive jewelry because it always turned. You had to throw it away or whatever. But when I started watching these videos, this paparazzi jewelry, I said, for five dollars, okay, I can do that because it looks amazing. Amazing. So I won't even tell you how much of this stuff I bought. And I sell jewelry myself, but uh, I don't sell any $5 jewelry. So, um, we got, I'm just checking this out. Oh, wait. Let me see to what our time is looking like. Oh, did I start the video? I don't, I, you know what I did? Not the video, the timer. I clicked the four minutes, but I didn't hit the start button. But anyway, I think our time is up. And let's look at these eyes. Look at that. Look at the difference. Look at how that you don't even see the line as much as you did when I first put this on. So, let's say I wanted to take off a little bit more puffiness. It's dry now. And you can feel it. I would just add a little more. And let it dry. And I'm not going to let you guys, make you guys rather wait for this second coat to dry. So, if you've had any doubt about Dr. Brant's, no more needles, <laughs> no more baggage, eye cream I would check it out okay so I'm gonna put a little bit of uh, since I didn't put any makeup on and you can wear it under your makeup oh and of course without I'm gonna put a little bit of concealer under here this is Mary Kay's concealer and I'll put a link for that under under here and I can't see real well but I'm gonna just pat this with my fingers because I'm gonna put some uh, foundation on top of it and I don't put a whole lot of triangles and all that under my eye because it it's not gonna help that much at my age <laughs> so this is the Mary Kay bronze 150 and I'm going to pat that under there to cover up the conceal and I may have to put do some other adjusting you know once all this stuff completely dries put a little powder under there to set the uh, foundation and all that but I'm just going to pat this in right now So it's not pink under there. Because if you notice when it dried, it was a little pink looking. Okay. All right, ladies. So, like I said, check it out. I think you'll be quite pleased with it. And as that dries some more, it's going to even improve. Alright guys, so thanks so much for hanging out with me. 
and uh, you enjoy the rest of your day. Okay, bye-bye.